Lord Jesus, we pray this morning for your children as they will be leaving to go to the different workplaces, the offices, the they, 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 they businesses, Lord, our teachers, our hospital workers, our nurses, Lord, our, our government employees, oh God, and Father, our policemen, our traffic officers, we pray this morning, O oh God, as your bride will be leaving their homes, our students that will be leaving to go to the different colleges and the different universities. We want to pray this morning, O oh God, on this Tuesday for guidance and protection. The blood of Jesus Christ. For every life, for every voertuig. The blood of Jesus upon every life, upon every vehicle, every taxi, train, or every any hiking spot they will be hiking from. Lord, we pray the token, the blood from Jesus Christus. Here will speak for more. Those that are remaining at home, we pray, Father, Lord, grant to them grace. Be with us, O oh God, even here on the farm this morning. We pray, O oh God, as we enjoy the rising of the sun, enjoying your presence, ons kan die teenwoordigheid aanvoel, Heere. Baie dankie vir die soete, soete teenwoordigheid. Thank you for the sweetness of your presence. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, Goeiemorgen, Tumela, God bless you. What a wonderful, what a wonderful atmosphere. You know, I, I, I just feel to worship. I just feel like worshiping the Lord. I just feel like lifting up my hands and just, you know, just rejoicing. You know how it feels, brothers and sisters, when you can feel the presence of the Lord and how you know how it feels to know that He is so close to us. Hallelujah, Mutnuit. Don't ever try to exchange that presence with anything on this life. There's nothing in this life, brothers and sisters. Young people, you know, I was 19 years old on the 18th of October, Hallelujah, 1994, when I received the baptism. I can still remember the day. I can still remember that morning, hallelujah, when the presence of God came so close to me. Young man, sir, hallelujah, it's good to study, it's good to, to be educated, but I'm telling you this morning, hallelujah, there is something bigger and greater than any university. And that is when a young boy or a young girl can realize Hallelujah, that the presence of God is close. Daar die selde teenwoordigheid, wat ek oor die derdig jaar terug gevoel het, praise die naam van die Heere, is the same presence that is right here this morning with me. It cannot change. It cannot be different. It is the same God, the same Jehovah, that baptized me with His presence. It is the same presence that I'm feeling here this morning. And I pray that God will help our young people to get to a place where they can really find a place where they can meet the presence of God. Hallelujah. Young man said, I I feel like shouting and worshiping the Lord, hallelujah, because of what He has done in my life, hallelujah. And I pray that God will bless our young people. Amen. Oh, God, help us. Excuse me. I just, you know, the presence of the Lord. Oh, here I see any fog from horror. Lord, bless your children this morning. Father, as we raise up our hands, 
We worship you, Almighty God. You know the needs of your children, Father. You know the desires of your children, young and old this morning. I can only help to shout, O oh God. I can only help this morning to worship you, O oh God. Father, I pray that may the same presence, may the same anointing, be with your children this morning, wherever they go, wherever they move, wherever they will be traveling, oh God, especially our young people. I sent your presence. I sent your anointing this morning. May your presence, may the pillar of fire, may the clouds, may your glory be revealed to them this morning. Heal the sick, oh God. Touch the broken heart, oh God. Deliver the backslider. Restore the sinner this morning. Oh God, we are dealing with a subject. Oh God, that you are that sure foundation. And this is our desire that all our young people will come to a place where they can find Christ and build a Christian world on this sure foundation. The baptism of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Almighty God. By a donkey year. Ons waardiri in Jesus' naam. Ons sefri by a donkey year. Oh, God, help us this morning. Brothers and sisters, yesterday we basically stopped where we will be touching on the specifications of any building. Remember, before you can ever build, oh my, even young people, before you get married, before you even start with a relationship, even before you think of, hallelujah, taking a wife or taking a husband, oh my, unless, amen, you consult with a great inspector, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, unless you consult with a great builder, hallelujah, which is Christ Jesus, the great inspector, hallelujah, don't, don't try to build any relationship. Young people, don't even try, hallelujah, to start a relationship unless you know it has been checked, it has been Hallelujah, well inspected by the baptism of the Holy Ghost, by the presence of the Almighty God. There are certain specifications that we have to follow before we can construct a home. And this, this subject is so important even for our spiritual lives, brothers and sisters. There's a song that comes to mind. I want to read a few verses of this song. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound. Lord, I want you to, to hear closely. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Oh my. Oh God, help us this morning. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher, on higher ground. Isn't that your desire this morning? And what is important for all of us as Christians? Hallelujah. Amen. Young brothers, you that like to start a ministry, you that like to go out and be a missionary or a preacher, oh, don't just jump into that. Don't just jump into, hallelujah, any kind of position. And just because you know every quote, you know every verse, you know every Bible verse, you know every quotation, Hallelujah. And now all of a sudden you feel you can become a pastor or a preacher. Hallelujah. Or you need a pulpit. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't 
build, don't start to build unless it has been well checked and well inspected. Praise the name of the Lord by the Lord Jesus Christ. It brings me to that message our prophet minister time tested memorials. I still remember how he would dramatize oh how all these those engineers would come and how they were given the specs and the specifications oh my to build to construct that that railway that will have to cross over almost like a river or a valley praise the name of the lord but amongst all those great men amongst all those great engineers and all those schooled men there was a young man a young boy hallelujah may god help us that is why young people that's why paul told timothy don't let your age be a problem hallelujah Moet nie laat jou ouderdom geminag word nie. This is so important. It's an important little note this, this morning. Don't let, hallelujah, your age be underestimated. Remember there was a young boy called David. His foundation was Christ. When he stood in front of Saul, he stood on a sure foundation. Oh my! He got to a place while the foundation of Israel was shaken. Oh, elke keer van Goliath oor die berg gekom het in die vallei, daar skid die foundatie van Israel. Gee my a man! Oh, God help us! You can imagine how that how that noise would sound hallelujah in that valley when when that big giant would just you know when he scream out with a with a strong voice hear me a man hallelujah give me a man that can fight me and then the whole israel the foundations of saul was shaken but here comes a little boy by the name of David. A young little lad knowing his foundation and where he comes from. Young man, young kind, but weet what sy foundasie was. And David was able to answer the question on the basis of his surety of the foundation that he had been builded on. David kon, David kon die aanslag afweer of aanpak omdat klein David geweet het op wat de foundatie hy bou. Oh, you cannot speak boldly unless you know your foundation. Your foundation is not a joke. It is a reality and it's very important my brothers and sisters before we close this little devotion this morning as we encourage you that you make sure that whatever building whatever construction whatever whatever you want to amen hallelujah do make sure that you know that this foundation that the soil has been properly inspected and that you are running accordingly the specifications of the soil test. I want to warn you this morning, young people. I want to warn you, minister of the gospel. I want to warn you, my brothers and sisters, a servant of God. Don't start any building spiritually, naturally. Don't ever start it unless a proper soil test has been done to make sure that there is good specifications because sometimes the soil is not good but there is specifications that needs to be added to that. 
Then you have to call in an engineer. They have to work out the strength of the metal and the steel that will be used in that foundation. And if you need steel this morning in your foundation, no matter the cost, my brothers, we close this morning. I know sometimes we try to avoid the steel. Amen. To place steel in the foundation because it costs a lot of money. I'm talking about don't ever, hallelujah, amen, don't consider the cost. Your, your marriage needs, if it needs steel, place that steel in that foundation. If your relationship needs extra steel or the presence of an extra engineer, make sure you get that engineer regardless the cost. Regardless the cost. Because remember church, remember bride of God, once you have done the foundation, once you have closed that soil, once you start to build, oh, you are, you, you know, once you start to build, the first storm that comes and hits your relationship, hits your Christian life, hits against your marriage, that building is sure to collapse and to fall. Don't consider the cost. Take whatever it takes. And make sure that you run according to the specifications of the building inspector, which is Christ. Father, we are closing down the second part. We are excited for the next part. Bless your bride this morning in Jesus' name. Amen.